the coronavirus and all that comes with, with it, the deaths, the pain, the loss, the lockdowns, the quarantines, uh, the economic ramifications, we're all in a little bit of a panic, um, panic with what's up next. It's unique in the history of the world and we've yet to see how it eventually plays out. Can you share your thoughts about how you interpret these events, um, perhaps the lens that we should see through to interpret it for our own well-being and our own spiritual evolution? And is there some message that we're supposed to take from it and, and, and hold on to? Uh, because there's a lot of emotions out there and there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fear. Um, can you shed some light on this for us? Where there is suffering due to fear, due to pain, heartbreak, death, the human spiritual nature is that we feel compassion and in whatever way possible we want to help and we're in a situation where there is so much fear and confusion and so much heartbreak and death and to, to see it through the lens of compassion actually rises, rise, helps us to rise above fear and confusion. Throughout history, pandemics and epidemics have come and gone. And with all our advancement in technology and science, we're not an exception. It's the way nature works. And the way I see it is while we're trying to help by protecting our own bodies and our own families and loved ones, knowing that this body is a gift, it's God's gifts and it's sacred because the body has inherently a sacred purpose. So to protect the body, to protect the bodies of our loved ones is a sacred duty, especially if we understand its sacred purpose. And that purpose in its highest, most inclusive state is to be an instrument of God's compassion in our life in this world. Somehow or other, there are so many distractions in the world, whether, whether they're ideological, technological, political, or just our own body and mind. Um, we forget what we really want in our life. And in the computer age, we have our reset button. We press this button to kind of erase so many of the things that are there on the screen and bring us back to our original natural position. And I see this as we're trying to help in whatever way we can, protect ourselves and others. Nature is pressing a reset button so that we can take inventory of our values, our desires, our, our purpose, and what really is meaningful in our life. And how to focus our attention on addressing the real issues that have true relevance to our life. Our families, our loved ones, our society, our own true self within, and God. These are the most important relationships we have, and the heart yearns to have these relationships. 
So with all the distractions and diversions that we are vulnerable to, we have an opportunity individually and collectively to take some time, to take a step back. And what direction do I really want to take in my life? What is the character and the values spiritually, socially, and individually that I want to make sacred in my life? And this is an extraordinary crisis. It's unprecedented, but it also gives us unprecedented opportunities. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.